This has been happening. <laughs> Uh, hey guys. <laughs> did you hear all that? Did you did you get my whole sob story that I just told to no one but myself and Justin? <laughs> uh, there was bound to not go that way. <laughs> there was there was bound for something to to go wrong. Um, okay, so backtrack. Hey guys, I'll do that for the third time today. What is going on? I was just recounting my weekend experience of my Instagram account being hacked um, and making, you know, lovely like confessions and, and things to y'all. But you missed it because Justin didn't turn the sound on. I'm going to give him a little bit of crap for that right now. So in any case, um, yeah, I have, I just literally this morning just got my Instagram account back maybe like one hour ago. I am still celebrating um, that I won. I beat the, the many words that I would like to call that person, but I won't right now in this. I've, I've already done it a lot. Um, in any case, <laughs> I won. I won! Congratulations. Yeah, so anyways. You need a crown. <laughs> like I beat the hacker in Nigeria crown. <laughs> In any case, um, I won. So I first of all would like to apologize to everyone that got that uh, message from my account um, asking them to also hand over, you know, the uh, criteria to your accounts. And hopefully nobody, nobody did it like gullible me over here that did do it. I thought I was helping out like a cute old man. It'd been like if Denny would have sent me a message was like, Liz, something's going on. I need your help. I'd be like, yeah, Denny, I got you. Uh... <laughs> but it was for somebody that I'm not as intimately acquainted with as I am with Denny. I don't have his cell phone number to text him and I was just like, oh, hey Chris, look at this. And he was like, oh, that looks like a, that looks like a hacker. And I was like, oh crap, well I already sent him stuff. And then like literally as I'm looking at my phone, like I get like, I'm in Instagram and suddenly I'm just logged out. Like there's like the, the box that pops up that's like, you've been logged out. And then I immediately get like three emails that like, oh, your email address has been changed to, uh, Jackson Wang 8014 at gmail.com if anybody out there is a hacker and would like to I don't know how do you I don't know how to ruin that email address but that is the email address Jackson Wang 8014 at gmail.com so if anybody out there can wreak havoc on anything then do it do it <laughs> Anyways, I am done with my soapbox, but it has been like a five-day soapbox that I have been sitting on. Um, in any case, oh, did you click the Twitch one? Mm -hmm. It's showing up on my side. Like I even checked okay. my phone after I saw that. Okay. I'm not sure what they're. Is everything? We've got Charles did some clapping. He's clapped for me, and then there's another emoji that I don't understand. Uh, that is the. Uh, oh, because oh, because he couldn't hear. Okay. <clears throat> in any quick, any case, so uh, yeah, so that was that's my soapbox that I'm done with, and now Denny can do things with shoulder holsters. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna hopefully finish up this shoulder holster deal. Actually, the holster is finished. I don't know if you can all see that. Came out pretty well, pretty well. It even comes out, goes back in. Oh, look at that. Yeah, cool. Then we've got the magazine pouch. It's all ready to go. So you just kind of worried and worried and worried on this back thing yeah. as it dried. Yeah. And now it fits yeah, I... like a glove. I hope everybody can hear how plastic this is. Classic, yes. Plastic. Classic plastic is plastic, what it is. Plastic. <laughs> In any case, so this was what we did last Wednesday. So if you missed last Wednesday, we made this. And by we, I mean this guy made this. I put some glue on it. Yes, you did well. I sure did. Um, and then you're now, you made this. Yeah, yeah I did this. Okay. I did this the next day. So we don't have, didn't yeah. have to go through the whole thing on. Uh, so this is pretty darn self-explanatory. You've got a couple different pieces. What is it? Three pieces? Four? Three? Three? Yeah, four, I think. Oh, because you have this. Yeah. Yeah. So, Denny made this on his own time. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And I, I guess it helps when you... Oh, well, that's Yeah, fine. if you had if you have in there, it clips in there. Easier. It's good. Yeah. So, that was done off camera, but it is pretty 
I mean, I'm sure it's a bit of a finger fight trying to get all these seams in here, but. Yeah, I mean, uh, you just gotta follow the instructions. It's, it's. It actually would probably be pretty easy to hand sew. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. You've just got, you've got one straight seam there and two yep. straight seams on the side. And then you get it all molded. These are, this is open. So it's really actually not a lot of molding. Yeah. Like you mold this closed. Yeah, I, I cut myself a couple of pieces of one by two to stick in there to mold it to. Okay. That's, you know. It's just a couple of pieces of wood to give yeah. you some, some structure. Yeah. If you've got, you can put the magazines in there and, and mold around them if you wanted. Okay. Yeah. Just wrap them in saran wrap first. You don't want, you don't want those to fit real, real snug. Because you want to be able because, to reload quickly. Yeah. yeah these, the, because this fits upside down like this and you want to be able to just, and, and have that magazine just drop out into your hand. You can ask Nash Bridges that. He would tell you. Oh yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So today is going to be the actual shoulder the, holster construction. Yeah, the harness. The harness. The harness. Yes, Thank the you. harness. And for that, I <clears throat> and there again, all I've done is I uh, transferred the pattern to a piece of Bontex, and there's one, two, three, four, four different pattern parts. But this part you cut two of. This part you cut two of, and this part you cut two of. So, so you got six. Seven parts. Yeah, seven parts. Two of each of these little guys, and then this yeah. one. Yeah. And to do that, I've got a piece of leather that's about to. I, I brought a. Yeah. Twelve. About 18 inches wide and about two feet long. And you can cut all those parts out. Just of, exactly out of the size piece. of this polyboard. Yes. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this. Dean, I hope on. clips will fit in there. All right. I suppose you could customize this if you are. Do clips vary? Sure. It depends okay. on it depends on the gun you have. Some of them are are what they call a double stack double stack, which are thicker. Mm-hmm. And some of them are single stack. Some are longer. It depends on the the gun you've got. All you right. Know, you might have to alter that. Yeah, a bit. But you just need to make sure that you allow for measure the height of yeah. whatever your clip is, and allow that here in this part and in this part, yeah. and then I guess the width that you just have to change the yeah. back if it was wider. Yeah, here's the, here's the parts to that. Yeah, this is the part you would have to change. This part here, you might need you might need to make from here to here and here to here longer. a little yeah longer or shorter mm -hmm. depends on on that and you might need to make it a bit longer or shorter here yeah you know but there's no way i could i could make a pattern that would fit every gun you know that would this, just be never ending this this pattern for this gun will fit most large frame semi automatic and we've got another pattern which will fit most medium sized framed semi automatics. Most. Most. If you've got one that's an oddball, you might have to alter the pattern a bit. Okay, I'm gonna draw this. And this, a lot of people make. Uh, this harness in two pieces. I kind of like this. I came up with this idea myself. Thanks, Andrea. all fancy like with his head knife. With my handy. <laughs> Alright. And this is a five to six ounce leather here. You can use six to seven ounce if you want to. You can use heavier if you want to. 
but if you really want this harness to be comfortable the lighter weight that you use the, the more flexible it will be and it really doesn't need a lot of just sheer strength Josh, I don't believe we've gotten your trading card yet. I did attach one of Denny's trading cards to your order that is um, over in gathering. So when the when they get to it, they'll send along that trading card with the order. But the office could have it, and they just haven't been able to process the mail yet and bring it in here. But I, we haven't seen it yet. So. Dean, good gracious. Dean is really working on, he, he would really like this uh, shoulder holster once it's done, Denny. He's he really, would. yeah, he would like you to make it comfortable for him. Um, we have his address. He will take whatever you have made for, you know, this. He'll just have to buy a gun to go with it if he doesn't have one already, but he'll take it. It's whatever you got. Yeah, get a, get a Beretta M9. <laughs> They're cheap, $1,000 or so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> or get an airsoft gun like I got. For like 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you could try to find a Nerf gun that fits in it. Yeah. And then you just walk around. I mean, that's what we do here. Just shoot people with Nerf, Nerf guns. All right. That is cut. Nice. But your daughter isn't a huge fan. No. <laughs> Says, I thought you guys loved me, but apparently not. First thing he did is he shot my sister. Really Sounds about right. There we go. Nope, that's not what I was looking for, and I didn't bring what I was looking for. Uh, so. Johnny would like to know what the pattern costs. Can you look that up for me, Justin? Yeah. Because I don't know. I'll give you the number. 144-1013. Sixteen dollars retail, eleven dollars wholesale. Pardon my noise. Gosh, Denny, it's like you're doing some leather work or something. <laughs> nope, you're not. You're not in there. Huh? There you go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And I forgot my end punch. Oh, would for you mind sakes. getting me a one-inch yeah. end punch? Love Just to. a round in. I would love to. Thank you so much. Now, cut these straight straps. I've got two of these, which will cut nicely there. So I'm just going to make a straight cut through the middle of this. About like that. And then after I get this straight edge on there, then I can use a strap cutter to cut these pieces of strap. Here we go. Thank you ever so much. You're so very welcome. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm going to set my strap cutter at one inch because that's what these straps are. Uh, Dean is feeling like he's reached his brown nose limit for the day. <laughs> probably, probably a good feeling, Dean. Dean, you're, you're getting pretty deep in there. <laughs> I don't know if this means anything, but Dean, there's no zippers on this. <laughs> you could do, you could do a faux zipper up the sides. You know how people like to put zippers on all sorts of things in weird places these days, is like accents. You'll see like a purse where like the zipper is sewn in in like an open situation that's like half zipped and then it's just in there. You have like jeans where there's just like zippers sewn into weird places. You could just you could just take the, the straps and just sew zippers into them. You could do money. Money zippers. Money zippers in your holster straps. That's Nobody's right. gonna like they're not gonna like steal your money because they'd have to take your gun off or first. You could fill Dean, do it. You could just do fill it. one of these sides with money. <laughs> Coins even. <laughs> Make it feel like bullets in there. Because yeah. it'll be so you should you could get like gold doubloons. 
<laughs> All right, now I'm going to cut the ends on these since you so graciously got this punch for me. I put zipper scraps along the outsides of cuffs. Yeah. It's a zippers are like a, they're like an accent tool these days. They don't need to be functional anymore. An action tool. <laughs> Alright, can you see, yeah, you can yeah. see what I'm doing there. I'm going to mark the end and I'm going to mark all these holes. Uh, a couple of them up here towards the top are rivet holes. And the rest of them are adjustment holes. And you won't use them all, but you might, I don't know, you go from... Josh, how did he use a strap cutter? That was weird, he cut tiny little strips. You don't have to be cutting belts, just use a strap cutter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Denny, it's not too late. We could still make a money shoulder holster. We could. <laughs> we could. We'll, we should, we should we'll could. expand the pattern for this. Yeah, you just like just put little zippers right here. You could put your. Is this the back? Uh huh. But see, it it folds down. It, Oh, right, because you've got yeah. a strap there to hold. Okay, I was like, this is going to be uncomfortable. This is going to be quite the popped collar, y'all. <laughs> and this, when, the first, <laughs> when you first use this, it will seem a little bit cumbersome because the back will want, not want to lay down. But, but once you will, wear it. It will yeah. seat itself. It will seat itself. Yes. It will become seated. Yes, it will become you. You will be one with the holster. <laughs> Leather will form to you and your gun. I can't tell you guys just the relief that I have been experiencing for the last hour. <laughs> it is very violating to have your account hacked, to have all of that stolen, to just not have access to know that like all the people that you've ever friended are getting spammed also because then you just feel like that comes back on me. And though it's not me, it's just, it's, um, I'm very, just very relieved. Still pretty pissed, but I'm very <laughs> relieved. <laughs> pretty, pissed. pretty pissed. That is a, the most PG that I can still say that. <laughs> if it were been a few hours ago before, there there would have been no PG way to say that. <laughs> it's just been angry. <laughs> Okay, now I'm cutting. These straps, these two longer straps, are the actual hang straps for the the magazine pouch in the holster. And these two straps are tie-down straps that will go from the holster and the magazine pouch to your belt. I don't know, maybe Dean, but that also sounds like a great idea right now. It's, I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm at, like, yeah, like I'm quite distracted and I'm ready to just, I'm ready to celebrate a little bit. Whiskey Wednesday. <laughs> Whiskey Wednesday. I have a question about welts. Shoot, Brandon, what do you got? Yes, David, it is ridiculous what you have to do to get your account back. Oops. And like they don't even like lock it like as soon as somebody should report their account being hacked It should be locked like it should just be locked until They can prove one way or another. those are my that's my opinion on it This is getting this is getting interesting Brandon has a question about welts and Dean says I had welts when my mom beat me <laughs> Let's see here This little piece here is actually just a keeper. Uh, maybe. 
Denny, were you holding this weird when you did it? I didn't look I it. I don't believe so. Yeah, Denny is left-handed. I mean, but this, I this used is the it handle. With my right hand. And then you've got the blade here, and then he would have pulled it through. So I don't. I mean, that's. I I use it like this. I hold it in my right hand. Okay. Oh no, no. If you just if you could do it right here, that would be cool. Yeah. If so, you do it like this and hold it in your left hand, all the numbers and everything's upside down. Yeah. Which is illogical to me. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I feel like he used it in the standard way. Because this is just the standard strap cutter with the blade housed here. When I first started the, cutting this way, and then you pull it through. This when is When I first went to work for a saddle maker, he, he told know, me that the only tool that to you couldn't use left-handed was the strap cutter because they're all made right-handed to pull with your right hand. Huh. That's, I'm serious. Okay. That's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> Man, left-handed people really get the shaft when it comes to tools, don't they? Yeah. Let's see But here. they got me a pair of left-handed scissors one time and I couldn't use them because I was so used to using right-handed scissors. Oh, yeah. And you think, what's the difference? You've got to, when you use a pair of scissors, you've got to make it so that the blades stay together mm -hmm. and, and actually shear. There's like a little bit of tension that you're providing. Yeah. And, and then your hand, yeah, you learn that. Yeah, I was so that. used to putting the tension in the other direction, I couldn't, I couldn't ever get the hang of it. So. It's like trying to brush your teeth with the other hand. Yeah. Have you ever tried to do that? I cannot do it. Sometimes I consciously try to brush my teeth with my left. I can't do it. Like my left hand does not know how to brush my teeth. I have a <laughs> toothbrush, so I just a little. <laughs> you just let it do its thing. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. So Brandon says, should I use a thicker leather for my welts than the leather I'm using for my sheaths or holsters? Um. So first, like. It depends on the knife. So I'll speak to sheaths real fast, and then I'll let Denny do holsters, even though, do holsters have welts normally? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, a Western type holster does. Okay. So with a sheath, when you put the welt in, the welt needs to match the width of the blade, ideally all the way down the blade. So you would have the same width to get a really good fit. You want the welts to be as thick as the blade is on the, the back um, top of the spine where it's meeting with the handle because usually sometimes you can have up to a quarter of an inch thick. One time I did a sheath for a dagger um, where the where the dagger came up into the handle it was a half of an inch thick and I had to build my welt up to accommodate that um, and then I taper them down at the bottom so that the, then it'll get thinner. You can take your head knife you can skive it down to where it's ooh that's a really close shot up on his pocket. Okay. <laughs> Oh, because he was, was like, what are we doing? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so on a sheath, you want the welt to match the thickness of the knife as closely as you can. Um, and then when you sew it, it's going to tighten up a little bit, but then that will give you the best fit for the knife inside the sheath. Because um, you don't want it to be loose. Like, you want it to be tight. You want it to hold well. You don't want to be too tight. Which is why, like, if you match the thickness of your welt to the knife, then when you sew it and you kind of compress that leather, you'll you'll lose a little bit of that thickness with the compression, but that should be just right to get the best fit for the knife. Now, I'll have you talk about the holsters. Okay, a Western holster, uh, you want a pretty thick welt in it. Okay. I mean, just because it adds body and stiffness to it. Uh, when I was working at uh, Seidel Saddlery, we did a lot of Western type holsters, and we would make them full thickness on the inside against the gun, but then we would uh, we would skive those down to a feather edge on the outside, so it oh, the yes. outside seam looked just like it was two plies of leather, mm -hmm. which which worked out really well. I've done that a little bit, um, especially like if I do have a really thick blade that I'm working with, and I just don't want to have to sew through that mm -hmm. much leather. Yep. You can have it nice and thick on the inside and then taper it to the outside yeah. so that you're still protecting, you know, the the stitch line right. and then you're providing that thickness that you need on the inside of the, the holster or the sheath, but then you don't have to sew through right. as much. Right. 
but in reality uh, the the welt on a holster serves no purpose other than to add body to the holster okay on a on a knife sheath it actually it protects the stitch line correct yeah you're, you have to have it so like this holster doesn't have a welt there's no welt here it's just the two pieces of leather and then you mold it to get the shape um and so yeah like on a you don't all of your fit comes from the molding on a holster not the welt necessarily right <clears throat> Okay, now I'm just going to bevel the edges on this. I'm using our handy little SLC Pro Beveler on it, which works wonderfully. <laughs> Dean, you're so weird. Dean probably knows that. <laughs> I'm going to take the time to actually burnish these edges after I get them beveled. Because if I don't, they'll be really hard to burnish later. Yes. Mm. Troy says if you don't weld a western holster, your gun binds and then hangs up when you try to draw it. Yeah. And th th those are just things that I don't know about because I don't really do, I don't do anything with holsters and guns really, like, personally. So I don't have that experience. So thank you for your tidbit Troy, that is good information. Yeah, Josh, we'll, we'll do a little bit more strap cutting here at the end. I don't, how do you, how do you cut your straps? <laughs> I feel like we're using it regularly. So you've got a strap cutter and then, um, there's also the, what's the other tool that's like a strap cutter, but it cuts on top? A draw gauge. A draw gauge. Are you thinking about a draw gauge? <clears throat> the British saddle makers use what they call a plow gauge. Oh yeah? They push. It works kind of like a, a stitch groover. Mm-hmm. Only you push it. And it cuts. Yeah, and it's adjustable. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool. I've never used one, but I've seen pictures and, and fantasized about how they work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony had to step out. He uh, had a personal thing that he needed to attend. He'll be back this afternoon, but we've got Justin in the house. Trying. Justin's doing great. He's doing a heck of a job. It could be either good or bad. One way or the other. <laughs> uh. I forgot to bevel the inside of that. Oh, okay. Josh's blade sticks up top. Yeah. So, Josh, you have a draw gauge. If the blade sticks up out of the, so there's, it's an Osborne one uh, that we sell. You kind of hold it like this, and then um, there's a blade that sticks up like this, and then you will you pull. Um, it's got a a gauge here that you set, and then you pull across the top. So that is a draw gauge, and this is a strap cutter. And the draw, I mean, yeah, and the draw gauge works really well. It's not the best for a light leather like this. Though. Gotcha. Um, and also, they just are magnificently more dangerous with their blade just sticking up in the air with uh, no guard around them. So, that's a... Uh, I made a little sheath for mine. Did you? Yeah, a little, little bitty sheath. <laughs> this is a little bitty sheath just to put on that blade. <laughs> so, if you're ever reaching up on my tool rack, you don't... 
draw your gauge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's it going, Loons? Oh, I don't know if we turn on our light. Who cares? <laughs> It'll be fine. Well, anyone that wants to come in is welcome. That's right. You just know they gotta be on camera. We welcome everyone. We even welcome Lindsay at the Twitch after party last week, guys. If you missed that, I don't know if it's still up, but Lindsay came in and said hi live on a video. She actually, she came oh. in the room. I I think she said the word hi. <laughs> <laughs> Something was. There was maybe a few words. Let's hear. Oh, uh, Denny, let's talk about the thicknesses of the leather. It tells you in the instructions what thickness to use yeah. if you do buy the pattern pack, but we can just go over. We're using Herman Oak Veg Tan. Just yes. let, that's what we're using. Yeah, and I would suggest it, it doesn't necessarily have to be Herman Oak, but use a vegetable tan leather since you're using it on a gun sheath. Plus this will mold a lot better to your body yes. and then stay structurally sound. So this is the piece, right, that you cut everything out yes. of? This is a piece of six to seven ounce, guys. So six to seven ounce for all of the harness components. Yeah. And they ended up. <clears throat> for some reason I thought oh. it was five, six, but Liz, 12 days of Christmas in November. Please tell us what to expect. Ah, uh, you mean the 22 days because it is 2022, so we will have the 22 crazy days of November. Um, we have a slew of special purchase leathers that we were bringing you. Uh, we haven't quite finalized the list yet of things that we will be selling, but we do have a lot of really awesome um, oil tan, there are some embossed leathers, there are some kind of just upholstery style leathers, all beautiful stuff um, that we will be bringing you in November for the 22 crazy days. We can keep doing this until 2031, I think. Minimum. Does November have 31 days? No, 30 days has September, April, June, and okay. November. So we can go to 2030 with our crazy days, and then we'll have to reset to something. Or maybe just find a new bit. So, yep, yeah, so 22 crazy days, so we will release a new item or items every day. Um, and like I said, I think we have approximately 25 separate leathers that will be all new leathers that we don't carry. Some are similar embossings to what we stock standard, but these are gonna be different colors um, and just limited runs of things. There are some gorgeous stuff. We will start doing some marketing probably around mid-October to start getting you guys all ramped up, kind of show you what we've got. But typically we don't do we don't do a ton of kind of preemptive advertising. We do we do a little bit to give you guys a little bit of a hint, and then um, you can start signing up for those um, emails that will come every day to you to let you know what's new. It'll be a whole category on the website. It's gonna be awesome and fun. We are working on the hardware stuff right now to go through what we've got and get that all lined up. So we are working on it, but we don't have we have the leather, or a lot of the leather portion done, uh, but the, the rest of it is still kind of up in the air, so. TBD, to be determined on some of that. <laughs> Strawberry Hill said that they would have jammed their, their finger about 10 times by now doing all that beveling. <laughs> Well, I guess the more you do, the better you get, right? The, the less you jam your finger. Didn't Trick just... to beveling is stay behind the beveler, not in front of it. <laughs> uh, Facebook, Randy Myers, does SLC sell the edger? He said what? Does SLC sell the edger? Yeah, that is yeah. our SLC Pro Beveler. What size are you using, Denny? Uh, this is a number three. A number three of our Pro Bevelers. And they do not correspond with a number three size of like a, an Osborne Beveler. Correct. They are all, even up to the number five, is still pretty tiny. But they are lovely Bevelers. Yes, they work very well. They so. come sharp right out of the package. 
All right, Josh, we'll, we'll keep a lookout for it and we will give you some feedback. that going, Vanessa? Andrea, we would love to see yours. I, uh, that's, that's probably not a video that we're going to be doing. I know um, next week Denny will be on vacation, so I'm going to be doing the teddy bear with Ryan. Um, for however long that takes. I don't I don't know how long that will take for us to do. Um, but show us yours. We did, we've sold so many shearlings in the past few weeks on all of our live shopping sales. Um, I, we pretty much sold all of them in the whole store at this point. And uh, we would love to see what you guys have come up with for that. You just cut out some big long socks and put some fur on the top of them and sew them inside out. You can make them as fancy as you want, big or small as you want. Andrea, it is always exciting to get your bench set back up. I know every time we, we move Denny, he always, I feel like you find a thing that you haven't seen in a while. Oh, I know. <laughs> like it may have been in the spot that he put it, but yeah. he just kind of, there's so many tools, you, you kind of lose track of them, yeah. or you remember that you have this thing that could be useful, but you just don't use it, so, yeah. Yeah. I think moving around is helpful sometimes. <laughs> it's helpful. It is fun, too. <laughs> it I is. Mean, it's a lot of work, but you get to overcome the mistakes you made the other time that you set things Exactly. Up. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you're making different products than you were two years ago when you set up your bench last. So maybe, you know, yeah. just like a time for a revamp to help ease whatever items it is that you are currently mostly making. You know, those tools are more at hand. How are your neighbors, Liz? No, oh, they're fine, I guess. <laughs> they're still living. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're still there. Uh, I think they had some company yesterday from Texas. <laughs> so license plate. And a car sitting on the road. They're, they're doing all right. <laughs> Wow, there's a whole conversation about water quality happening. <laughs> Not even joking, Denny. Okay. People are talking about their wells and their pumps and water tests and clay content and... Well, that's pretty important, I guess. Minerals. Yeah, minerals are important. My mom has decided that she's going to drink distilled water, which is really not great because um, there's no minerals. Hey, we're live. What's up? Yeah, but we're live. It's okay. the time. Okay, Jeff. We we are. All right. I've got one of these items that's uh, been discontinued. Uh huh. And I uh, we have an inmate would like to purchase it. Go for it. But it says, but the oh. old part number doesn't answer anymore, and so it gave me this, which shows it's live shopping. Yeah. But and you just just uh you can just put it in like a yeah you don't you don't have to use that number just like eight eight eight. Okay. Yeah. Right. You're good. Rick, you need to say hi to everybody. Say hi. Everybody, this is Rick. Oh, pardon oh. me. <laughs> you, can, you can scooch in and say hi. This is Rick, if you oh. want to. There he is. There you go. Good to see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. He didn't believe us because our sign was on. He's like, no, you guys are pulling my leg. <laughs> I don't know what else Denny and I would be doing in here if uh -oh. the video. If we weren't live. The camera's pointing. <laughs> Uh, we're just doing arts and crafts, is what we're in here for. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi, Rick. He's a great guy. If, if any of you call in and get Rick, he's, he's lovely to talk to. He's got a little bit of a dry sense of humor, but that's all right. It, it could be fun. I've just got a little bit more here to do. I know you guys are real excited about this part. Tangled up? Is it? Is it on like Zillow? Can I look at it? 
Apparently there's a Lego themes house for sale in Wisconsin. There's a lot of interesting houses for sale in Wisconsin. There's a Frank Lloyd Wright one that popped up the other day that my friend sent me. She was like, Liz, are you moving to Wisconsin? There's a Frank Lloyd Wright house for sale. And I was like, yeah, if I had three quarters of a million dollars, sure, I'd move to Wisconsin and buy a Frank Lloyd Wright house. It was pretty snazzy looking. I'm glad I goes talk to Rick. It is on Zillow. You can send me the link. It's Liz at Springfield Leather. I'd love, I'd love to check it out. Oh, pfft, 250. Got it. I don't. What do you mean by Lego themed? Is it like weird colors, or is it a block house? Did Petronio call the recall the Master's Quick Shine? Yes, so Masters Quick Shine, um, they did have a bad batch that came out. We are hoping. I have not checked this week since we I've been it. back. We have it. Did it, came, it come back in? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they did have a bad batch that came in, so they had to get it remade. Um, but we literally, like, in the last few days have just gotten our our shipment in, and so it is available to purchase. I don't know how many we got. I am a little bit afraid that um, it's gonna sell out really quickly. Hopefully we got another order put in right after this one. I think we had like 75 cans on order, but we're probably gonna sell through those pretty quickly. Um, they did have a bad batch. <laughs> That's a movie. Um, but it looks like they got it all figured out. They've got a good product in, and we now have some stock. So everybody go out there and get your quick shine. Denny, do you sell chicken necks on the side? <laughs> I've got three that I would sell, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to sell your wife's chickens? Yeah, she would sell them too. The oh, crazy yeah. things aren't laying eggs. <laughs> Stinking chickens. They aren't, they aren't earning their own keep. <laughs> All right. Let's put this thing together. Uh, Dean, I think, weren't you the one that emailed us that had the whole Walmart situation? Was that you? I feel like that was you. I could check my email, but I'm not going to at this moment. Um, if it was you, I think Tony is working on something, so just hang tight. Do you all sell a pedal lifter? Josh, we sure do. Um, we sell two of them. Uh, Kevin actually used one in the trading card video that we did on Friday. So they're the Osborne. We call them pedal pushers. No, pretty, pro pedal. Pro pedal. Pedal lifters. Okay. In any case, Pro Pedal should bring it up on the website. It will be an 88-something item number. We have a small and a large. And then when you get it, usually the, the tips on them are not stropped. So you will need to take it and you will need to polish it. Otherwise, it's going to like grip onto your leather as you attempt to. Yeah, a lot of them have a little burr on the end. A little teeny so. tiny burr. Yeah, yeah. So take it to your strop. Get it all nice and polished. Get all those little grooves out if there's any grooves. What's up, Kevin? I want you to have that. There's a story behind it. And I'll oh, tell cool. you later, just don't lose it. So now it's out of my hands and in yours. Hmm, I appreciate that. No, yeah, I'm sure you would. Thanks. Awesome. I'll find you later to get the story. So what you doing? Uh, Denny is finishing up the shoulder holster pattern. You know, if I wouldn't have known any better, I would have said he's working on a shoulder holster. Well, look at that. At least it looks visually but correct. Luckily, you knew better. <laughs> huh. Well... Happy day, glad it's you and not me. <laughs> Don't worry, your time's coming again. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to work under that circumstance. <laughs> your time's coming. I do try to give them a heads up. I think this would be the one situation where I would have used a, a rivet setter. Well, it's fine. Okay, what I'm going to do this time. Ooh, is Set the other one from the back. The back side. And you won't even know. There's very few times where I would use a rivet setter, but the one the the, the, the times that I would is it's when you've got a lot of um, uh, when you've got a when when you have some sort of a lip that your hammer is going to be hitting, then you want to be able to raise your set like you raise the mallet off the leather with the setter. So otherwise, just smash it flat. But if you do it on the back side, then nobody. Doesn't matter. See, that was just perfect, but I'll fix the other one. If I can find a tool to do it with. Andy, we do not there have a go. chest holster pattern. That is not. Do you see?
see many leather chest holsters. I feel like a lot of your chest no. holsters are going to be like neoprene. Yeah, and a lot of people use those to hunt with. A lot of pistol hunters. Yeah. Use a chest holster, and I'm going to do a pattern because I've been looking at those. I've seen a few. Of them. Okay. We do not have one as of yet, <clears> but it sounds like Denny's going to be working on one. Um, Kevin teases us with a story and then leaves us hanging. That's about what Kevin does. <laughs> yeah, he says, here I am and I'm going. All right, Tangled Up. It's Liz at SpringfieldLeather.com. That's all that it is. It's the whole thing. Really, for the most part, if you just wanted to guess somebody's email at Springfield Leather, as long as, and you won't know this, but as long as we don't have duplicates of that name, you're pretty gonna get the right like you're gonna get your person just by their first name and then at springfieldleather.com that is not the case with tony who runs our videos because his actual name is anthony and we already have a tony that started here before him so tony's and he actually gets a lot of emails from you guys that are trying to reach anthony but you email tony instead his email address is anthony at springfield leather mine is liz at springfield leather but if you email tony he will send it to anthony because he'll be like that's not me <laughs> That's a whole hoopla of a thing. But sometimes with our duplicates, like you'll have like a first name and then a last initial possibly, but we're usually pretty. This place has a whole dedicated Lego room. Does it come with the house? Like are they, like if you buy the house, do you get the Legos? <laughs> Cause that sounds like a, the, I could invest in that. I don't really want to live in Wisconsin. It gets much more cold there than it does here. And that's not my temperature range that I prefer. <laughs> yep, Dean, those are two different body parts. That's uh, that's two different things. Okay. Who is shipwreck at Springfield Leather? I don't know, Dave. Tr oh, it's probably ship hawk is our shipping program that we use. Shipwreck. <laughs> Shipwreck's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> I mean, we could, like, that could be our, like, when things get if something has gone wrong, you could email Shipwreck at Springfield Leather. <laughs> yeah. I'm not opposed to that, but I don't think we need any more. So Tony is Anthony, and Liz is Elizabeth. And Denny is... <laughs> Denny is Elizabeth. <laughs> Yeah, Denny has an email, but he doesn't check it, so just email me. I don't me. have any place to check it, and I wouldn't know how if I did. I know, it's fine. That's why I don't have a place. <laughs> they we know tried. me. Uh, All right. I'm putting this dude together. I think we have a Tony, but I think he's locked out. Hello. Somebody's trying to get in. Hopefully it's not a crazy. <laughs> oh, it's just Q. We're live, so you could go in the other door. Or you could go across. You could say hi. This is Q. I told him I was going to bring him in at some point to do things. Say Hello. hi. Just a little bit farther. Just a little bit. <laughs> there it is. Luna's in the way. Hello. Oh, he okay. always wears this his, is Q. His, his headphones. I do. I keep thinking he's an air traffic controller. <laughs> Look at that. Anyways, he helps run our e-commerce stores. If anybody's curious, that is Q, aka Quentin. Let's see here. Yeah, my eyes are old too. They're they're 32 years old. Uh. Uh, but Dean, my email, I mean, my name is Elizabeth. Nobody calls me that except for Tony sometimes. And then I Anthony him right back. <clears throat> um, but my email address is Liz. So Tony is Anthony. His email address is Anthony. My name is Elizabeth, but that's not my email address. If you email Elizabeth at Springfield Leather, you're not going to get me. We don't, I don't think we have that. We used to have one and she went by Elizabeth, but I'm assuming you guys are just watching what's happening here. He's just punching holes and installing hardware. Is there anything you need to talk about? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm using the quarter inch uh, open back Chicago screws here. Okay. Or eighth inch. Eighth inch. Eighth yep. inch open back. You use whatever size Chicago screw works for you, but 
in this case, since this weight of leather, I'm using the, the eighth inch. Alright, got that. Put this on a little. Is that rude? Did I? Oh, no. <laughs> no, but yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I don't know what's happening. All right, that's about right. Thank okay. You. That's all I needed okay. to know. Okay, you're welcome. That's all I'm here for. Is this is support. adjustable, but I'm making it because Liz is going to go postal as soon as this is over, I'm sure. Yeah. Right? She's going to go find that Instagram if she could find, If she could find a hacker. Seriously, guys. Jeremy, let me, let me see if it's Wang or Wong. Because now I said that, but I'm not sure. And I want to, if anybody's going to, you know, try to harass him, I want to make sure you have the right name that you're harassing. Wang, it is. So, Jackson, Jackson Wang, W-A-N-G, 8014 at gmail.com. Get him. Go get him. Anyways. I'm sure it's non-monitored, but maybe, I don't know. <coughs> I wish I knew more about the inner workings of the computers. If I was looking for a specific color and type of leather, could SLC find it? Shoot me an email, Striker. We'll see what you got. Um, did I? I think I emailed you back. Didn't I email you back about the leather you were looking at? Yeah. It, if we don't have it, we can see if we can find it. The only thing is is that depending on what you're looking for, if it's not something that somebody like pulls in and stocks, like if it's something that I have to go to a tannery to find, you're looking at a minimum of 2,000 feet that we would need to buy in order to bring it in. So depending on like veg can be tricky um, because there's not a lot of like custom specific things as, as far as like veg goes. But a lot of times upholstery, you know, like we carry the line of um, Kamali upholsteries here, but they have, they have a lot more colors of Kamali upholstery that we could special order for you if you needed to. Or, you know, like Barbarossa, we carry a lot of their leathers, but there's a lot more that we, you know, could buy if you wanted to special order it. You just have to be able to buy the, I think it's a, a full hide is what you would have to buy. So yeah, just shoot. You got my email. So send me an email with what you're looking for and we can see what we can do for you. They can do anything. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> yeah. So much. David, the leather that we are using um, for the harness part is six to seven ounce. What did you use for the holster? Uh, I believe eight to nine ounce. Okay. If I remember right, which is entirely maybe impossible. Okay. That I it remember could, right. It's on. In that area. It's on the pattern. If you buy. It. Yeah. It says nine to ten, so probably like a nine to ten, and then it, it says, or you could use a two ply four to five. Yeah. 9 to 10. Okay, 9 to 10 on the holster, on the harness is seven, 6 to 7. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Do you want me to have compassion for my hacker? Is that what you're is that what you're asking me to do right now? Cuz I got none of that. I have zero. There's probably like less than zero. I don't know what are you doing. <laughs> you need to be on my side here, buddy. <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> I put up with your shenanigans and zippers and glue questions, so... I, I'm Dean. No, Dean, I got nothing. He tried to have... Do you realize how many... Like, when I got my account back and I could see all of the messages that he sent to people that were, like, the same thing that I got and was fooled by, like... It was people that I'm not even, like, they're not even on my friends list. Like, they're not even people that I follow. It was, it was like, it was just, like, pages. Like, I just scrolled through for forever. That is not what, that is not what people that used to be a good boy do. I don't, I got nothing. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I 
I don't know how I feel about that, Stryker. The fairy godmother. <laughs> Dean's going to war with the fairy godmother from SLC. Is that me? <laughs> that's a that's a new one. That's kind of fun. Well, I mean, I don't even have children yet, but I suppose I could be the fairy godmother. I guess you don't have to have kids to be a, a godparent. No, no, you don't. I was doing so good, and then I put this one in wrong side out. Are you all geared up for Farm Fest? Chad, I'm getting there. I, um, the shop made me a whole bunch of little stuff and got all my pillows made. I, I should have went, I was at Walmart yesterday, but I forgot to buy pillow forms. So I didn't, I didn't do that, but I do need to go purchase two more pillow forms this evening. I will get everything hopefully ready to load up or starting to load up here this afternoon. Pick out all my rugs, get all my stuff in the, got the trailer brought over, so it should be all ready. I'm getting there. I'll go set up tomorrow. If you, if you want to come say hi to Denny, he'll be working with me on Friday and Saturday. So you can do, you can do that. Oh yeah, I guess this would be a good time. Dean, what's your username? On Instagram? It's, uh, it's my business. It's Lizard Leatherworks. I think that's the first time I've said that out loud. Chad used to tag me in things because he's ornery like that. But if you want to see my leather work, that's where you can find it. Well, yeah, so the other thing is, is like, so I use my Facebook for kind of like my personal social media if I choose to have it, which I don't really do all that much anyways. But like my Instagram was like my business page that I use for my sheets and my leather work and stuff. So I don't know. It was just also that was. Ah. All right. We're just about there, you guys. I got to put snaps on these tie downs and oh. place, stitch the keeper. Anya, together. my account was hacked. My Instagram account was hacked, but I got it back this morning. I won. I won the game. Instagram approved my selfie video. They were like, "Oh yeah, that looks like you." This, this should be good. I think I've talked about this holster very much and I apologize everybody. It's all right, you've been busy. <laughs> everybody on Twitch has been looking at that Lego house and I'm kind of antsy to do that also. I'm just kind of biding my time waiting for you to finish here. <laughs> Man, I can't wait. I can't wait for this thing to get oiled a little bit and then to like sit in the sun or be used and like really color up. Yeah. It's yeah, gonna look so good. great. I'll, I'll color it and you can see it next time. Okay. Oh, so real quick for everybody watching, um, no live shopping this week. So just everybody, just be sad about that. I'm sorry. We will be back next week, but no live shopping this week. And please do not do what Denny just did and use a metal hammer on your metal tools. Get your mallet out, Denny. Yes, Get your mallet out, Denny. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, thank you, Anya. Me this too. Do as I say, not as I do. Correct. Yeah. Do what I say, not as Denny does. Um, let's hear. And then on Friday, I think Tony is actually also going to be out at Farm Fest with me, and we will attempt to do a short live broadcast from Farm Fest so you can see what our booth looks like um, and all of that. Since Denny will be there with me. I'm going to be there, and so we just kind of decided that we were going to tempt. The internet at Farm Fest is not the most wonderful, so we will see how it goes. I know when I was in Dallas, we tried to do that live while I was in Dallas, and it was a little sketchy um, with the internet connection there, but um, I think Tony is trying to work on the gimbal right now so that we can take that around and attempt to broadcast from Farm Fest on Friday. So we will try to do something. We'll see how it goes. It's probably not going to be a full hour, but uh, we'll come to you live from Farm Fest and you can kind of see what the Springfield Farm Fest is all about. Do you guys sell a tool that puts staples in bell keepers? Uh, no, but we do sell like those special belt keeper staples that are nice. And then we have a tool that will, um, it's the spot tool that you use.
to like it has prongs that are adjustable to different widths that you can you can punch the prongs but honestly you could also just use like a tiny little short chisel and then chisel out like each side of your belt keeper and then put the staple through it and then you just need pliers you just need some like i would suggest some bent nose pliers some small like the jewelry ones or just the little ones you can get at the store and you can just turn those prongs inward and you'll secure your keeper like that thanks andrea i will check it out i shouldn't i think yeah i think they changed it to where people can't just follow me but I just had it, I had it set up where anybody could follow me because it was my business account and I felt like that was a reasonable thing to do. People that have business accounts that are set on like private, they have to like, I guess if you're just like, I don't know, that seems weird to me, but. Thanks, Erin. It's fun. would also move. I think everybody would move to it. We get so many comments all the time. People are like, you should open up a shop here. You should open up a shop here. But I just hope everybody realizes that if we were to open shops in different places, it wouldn't be like this place. It couldn't be. It would start to become like like Tandy. Yeah. Which isn't terrible, but it's not yeah. going to be like I'm not going to be yeah. there. I mean, yeah, unless it was like, we're going to open a store in like Finland and then be like, yeah, I'm up for that. I'm gone. Peace. Out. I'm going to Finland, but that's probably not what we would this, do. This is supposed to be a personal experience when, yeah. you, when you shop at Springfield. But then also I'd have to thing. take Denny with me. I can't go anywhere without him. <laughs> what's what's Liz without Denny? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just a person sitting here talking. That's all that I know. Well, but you've got a good Instagram account now. <laughs> I have my I have my little baby Instagram account back. You guys, we're Sweden would pull. Yeah, there. any any of those countries there would be. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still getting messages about my Instagram situation. <laughs> there was there was so many yesterday. Well, because they started to send out the the messages yesterday is when they started to go, and so we had just all sorts of people contact Chris and myself, being like, "Hey, you're hacked." I was like, "Yeah, I I know. Can you report it, please?" <laughs> <laughs> Just report it for me. Because I feel like maybe the more reports, the quicker you're able to get your stuff back. That's right. We, I mean, the squeaky Tandy, is, Tandy is there for a reason. It's because, like the rest of us, like Weaver can't be in all these different places. We can't be in all of these different places. Like Tandy, you know, they've been around for forever and they figured out how to be in all these places. So, yes, there used to be more of them. It used to be more convenient to go. But... You know, we are only one location. They at least have, I don't know, 80 or 90 across the United States. So you've got probably at least a couple in each state or one that's, you know, maybe a few hours drive. But I'll tell you what, a, a lot of people want to want it in their in their place where they are so they can see what they're buying. But you can rest assured that if you order anything through mail order here, that we will try to do our best to get you what you want. Yeah, we have that comment section, you know, when you when you check out online, you can call in, you can talk to somebody. It's literally just a couple doors down. That's not on anymore. Oh. <laughs> um, so like we really do try to do our best for everybody. We want to send you something that you're going to be able to use. Like that's that's what we want. We, we want everybody to be happy. I mean, that is our motto is like, make our customers successful that is our whole goal so nacho leather um you can live shop with us every thursday tony and i go throughout the store we kind of find fun unique different things not our regular stock stuff not the stuff that you can just go on the website and order but we try to find you know the odd lot stuff that that's the reason that people love to come in is because they get to dig through all the miscellaneous sides and hides and whatever and find the fun things um so tony and i do try to bring that to you every thursday with our live shopping on facebook um to give people a chance to kind of get a little bit of the taste of the miscellaneousness that makes springfield leather unique um 
Tony does want to do the virtual shopping. <clears throat> it just takes manpower to do that and we are working on some ideas. It takes a lot of time to do that. Um, and so it's it's something that we are kind of toying with, but it's it's not going to be a free service. It's not going to be a super cheap service um, because it does literally, you have a personal shopper yourself for however long that you're on. Um, and so, you know, if you're in need of something specific, reach out, give us a call, shoot like team at sprinkleleather.com. Um, you know, find your favorite customer service person and Liz, I don't know who I is. Liz don't know who I is. I'm sorry, Nacho. I'm, do I know you? I might know you. I'm bad with names. I'm sorry if I know you. I probably know you. She definitely forgot. Mm. That's, I mean, corporations have their struggles. They definitely, and then also, like, Springfield Leather is privately owned by Kevin, the guy that was just here. Um, he's really, like, the end-all, say-all for what we do, and we don't have to worry about a slew of investors that need to make all of this profit and need to see all these gains and all of these things. Like we don't, we don't have that struggle. That's not our struggle. We need to be profitable, obviously, in order to keep running. Like that's a thing. Like we need to be able to make money, but we don't have to make all of the money doing all of the things because we don't, that's, we're not answering to investors. Look at that. Denny did it. <laughs> there you go, folks. He made a right-handed, Shoulder holster. Yes. For a large. A large frame semi automatic pistol. Yeah. And it is adjustable. And the more you wear it, the more it will form fit to your body. And we'll oil it up and put a finish on it next time you see it. That's right. It's going to be great. I'm sorry. Let's hear it. Um, do they make a veg tan suede? Uh, okay, so Brandon Herman Oak does make a veg tan suede. We decided not to carry it, but I do believe that Weaver sells it. So I think it's their Expedition. So you have their Heritage line, which is what we stock, which is a finished upholstery leather that Herman Oak started to make that is full veg. Um, and then if you go to Weaver, you can look up, I believe it's the Expedition 1881. Um, is a weatherproof, water resistant suede that you can buy and it comes in like three or four colors. So we decided to not carry it. Um, the price point we just felt was like a little, I mean, it's Herman Oak, it's veg tan, it's all very lovely, but we were like, I don't know if I can sell $10 square foot suede. Like that was just where we were at. So, um, but check out Weaver, they did they did decide to stock it and carry it. So that is an option on a uh, veg tan suede. Let's see here, that's right, Matt's true. toaster. We will take care of you. If we mess something up, which is something that does have like, we're all people here. It's just people gathering your orders. We're not robots. Sometimes we have bad days. Sometimes we don't read things correctly. Sometimes we just miss something. It happens. It all happens in life. Um, give us, shoot us an email. We will take care of whatever it is that we have, with, that we have messed up on. That's 100%. You know who Nacho Leather is? Who? I'll let you sit on it for a second. guesses? They have two kinds, Liz. I'm pretty sure that's the whole best friend thing. Oh. I, sorry, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Yeah, Larry, you could totally schnaz this up with some tooling, 100%. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. In fact, I made a tooling pattern for it. Sell it to you for $150. <laughs>
Uh, Denny's trying to make a little extra money on the side yeah. here. <laughs> Alrighty. <sighs> yeah, we all look so confused. That's my face. Hi, Tony. Usually Tony is on YouTube and it just says, it just says Tony Williams. Might be him. I don't know. Lefty? Nacho Leathers. I don't. I'm confused now too. I'm really confused down here. Alrighty. Anyways. Denny, do I need a chest holster versus a shoulder holster? What are you doing? If you're hunting, I would say a chest hold, holster. If you're trying to conceal, shoulder a holster. shoulder holster. Chest but you holsters have to, would be really difficult to get. But you have feel. to wear like a sport coat or something over it. That's right. You know, if if you're actually trying to conceal, and that's Just what it's like all about. Pretend like your Nash bridges with the yeah. with the thing. You get a sports coat. Yeah. Or if you don't want to wear a sports coat, then you have to get it inside the waistband holster. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're <laughs> and it just keeps moving down your body. All right. <laughs> Seven and a half inch barrel. Well, Dean, how big are you? The, uh, you would be much better with a chest holster okay. for a gun that big because... Seven and a half inch barrel, the whole total length of the gun will probably be a foot, which is how big are you? <laughs> you will look very misshapen under <laughs> even a sports jacket. <laughs> Things are getting baggier sometimes, I think, in, in fashion. Yeah, but you'll have points sticking out each side. <laughs> hey man, he's got a rib problem. <laughs> Maybe not if you're Chris. I bet he's Yeah, Chris probably would Yeah, he could conceal, conceal it. Although I don't know if it'd fit under his arm because it's so tight there. Yeah. In any case. Alrighty guys, well that was our hour and 15 minutes. We now have a shoulder holster um, complete. So hopefully anybody that had questions on that from the pattern, this will answer those. It'll be, it's lovely and awesome. Um, once again, no live shopping tomorrow and Friday we will be live at Farm Fest for whatever that means and for however long it works and happens. So that that would that might be fun and or interesting we'll see how that goes and then next week denny will be on vacation where are you going going to new mexico going to new mexico anybody in the new mexico area keep on the lookout for denny and random antique stores and there's a guy in oklahoma we're going through oklahoma and i forget his name that's we told yeah you told yeah. us about him yeah, yeah so in any going case back that way all right you're gonna go by my uncle my my cousin removed i don't know what it is by the sand dunes yeah you're gonna check out the museum yeah Okay. Well, no, oh, no, because this was their last weekend. This this coming weekend is their last weekend that you can that you. Oh, the sand dunes. No, it's open. I thought you were talking about uh, the Great Salt Plains. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. No, the sand dunes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we might do the sand dunes. Well, and then you got to check out whoever I'm related to. Their little. Give me a name. <laughs> Teddy. His name is Teddy. Oh, all right. We'll I think it's actually Teddy. Teddy Dean, but I don't know if I'm just misremembering that, but I feel like it's Teddy Dean. In any case. I'll just start hollering Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> all righty, guys. Uh, so next week we will be here with the um, teddy bear pattern. Uh, Ryan and I will be attempting to make that. We'll see how it goes. Should be should be great. Should be wonderful and lovely. Um, yeah, then we'll do that till you're back, and then I go on vacation, and you do something. Something. It'll yeah. be something. He'll come up with something. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, you have a great uh, rest of your afternoon. Everybody, celebrate a little bit for me and my Instagram account. And I am. Thank I you. Am. Thanks, Denny. Alrighty, guys. See y'all. See ya.